Now we're going to use logic to try to decide what it would look like in our camera if we switched from 22 millimeter to 31 millimeter view. Okay, so I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to get rid of this stuff up here. All right, and I'm going to get rid of this one here. Let's get it in there. And we're going to look at what happens in this situation here. So let's go zooming in here. I'm going to take this here, shrink her down a little bit for this new position. And there's our image right there, okay? So, what do we see here? It's not pronounced, but this was our longer focal length lens. You can see it has a longer focal length. What is it doing? The longer focal length lens, when it sees an object at the same distance, makes a bigger image than the shorter focal length lens. So the lens that has a shorter focal length bends the light in really fast and it makes a smaller image. Now, which one of these would be the brighter image? The one that was shrunk to a smaller size or the one that was left more spread out? If you think about it, it means the shorter focal length lens because it makes a smaller version of the object, there's more light concentrated on the sensor or your retina, it would be brighter. Now, before I deleted the retina, we had the retina plane sitting here and at a fixed position, the retina can only pick up one of these. But if this was a camera, remember, what'll happen is this whole thing here the lens would simply move forward until the image was on the retina or on the sensor. So you have to focus it. So in a camera, the camera will make sure these images land on the sensor. What else can we decide apart from that the short focal length lens makes a smaller image and the long focal length lens makes a bigger image. Let's not forget these lenses are doing this in three dimensions. Like this, okay? This object here has an extent in two dimensions. It's up higher up and it also has extent in and out of the page. So imagine another arrow coming right out of the page at us. Think about it. If everything that the camera takes a picture of, not just up and down, but side to side shrinks in size, then when the image of the world shrinks in size, the picture you see on your cell phone will fill more of the universe in it you will fit more in the picture when you do this. So if you go to a short focal length lens, you not just get smaller images, you get a wider field of view. So we call short focal length lenses, wide angle lenses. If you switch to a longer focal length lens like this, you not only get a larger picture, but as things get bigger, fewer of them will fill the frame. So if the image doubles in size, you will literally get a picture half as wide. So these ones start getting called telephoto. So short focal length makes small images, so you get a really wide view of the world. Long focal lengths give you magnified images, so you fit less of the world. You can go to Google and just do this short focal length 
field uh, view and see what you get. Watch. You got all these, so I'm going to change my search term. And I'm going to do Canon Wide Angle Lens to force it to give me a picture. So I'm seeing some lenses now, but no picture. Nelson, please contact extension 212. Mr. Nelson, extension 212, please. I'll take out the short focal length. And finally, here's a couple snapshots of it. When you take a short, short focal length, the field of view can get so wide, you actually can see almost behind the camera and you get this stretched small version of things. So here's an example here of what these lenses look like. Mr. Brisson, call 219, please. Mr. Brisson, call 219. 50 millimeter was the classic size of a picture. So on a 50 millimeter view on London Bridge, you are seeing from this yellow ambulance to here. 80 millimeter is starting into your telephoto range or what we call portrait photography. Notice you are now getting a magnified view. And so you're fitting less of the world in horizontally and vertically. So you get more of a close up, but you lose a lot of surrounding material. By 20 millimeter, you are getting to about the limit of practical wide angle photography. At this point, the field of view goes really wide because the images are getting smaller. So you fit more into the picture, but you begin to start to see some eerie distortion. This comes closest to matching pretty much what your eye sees. When you go to wide angle, you're starting to get to like fisheye lens distortion and 80 millimeter is a little bit more intense and closer. This would be perfect if you wanted to take a picture of your friend and stretch the background. If you took your picture of your friend here, um, you're gonna make them look like they're pasted against it because even though the guy hasn't moved, because the image is magnified, it makes the building look like it got closer to you. So short focal length lenses make everything much smaller and stretch the distance and give you a much wider field of view. So they're great to get a picture of your friend up close to the camera and then the world stretches behind them to infinity. So that's the basics of what these mean in terms of a camera lens.